Uh, so, uh, take two. Um, I'm at a children's hospital in Ukraine, and they uh, are set up to handle six patients on paper, but theoretically, I was told they can handle 12. Um, they have some pretty specific equipment needs. This is one of the rooms where there are no patient monitors. Uh, they've said they have nine respirators, of which only five are working. Um, there's a room with compressors that have a homemade manifold for distributing oxygen to the rooms. Um, so that can be a problem. Uh, they have uh, behind me, there's an EKG. They have two of these. This particular one is broken. Um, so they are also in need of infusion pumps. Um, and they have a, no way to divide uh, patients one from another. And have, obviously these rooms uh, like this, as you can see, multiple patients per room. At the very minimum, uh, there'll be two patients per, per room. And there are no curtains. Uh, I've been just told where if one of the patients is passing away, they will rush to take the remaining patients out of the room prior to uh, the child dying. So um, that obviously presents some challenges. Uh, there's some concerns too for parents coming into the facility. It is very dated. Um, I'll come out into the, the hallway, um, but you can see um, the, the uh, tile work here is good. They passed the surgical suite. Um, there's a lot of damaged paint and cosmetic things, but um, it doesn't allow for a good feeling for parents. And so there are obviously concerns with, with that. Um, but um, the, one of the most pressing needs are for more respirators. And so we've been told that's, I guess, the primary missing equipment, although there's obviously a lot of bad here. So anyway, um, that's what I've got.